is up guys? It is Matthew Maz Fishing and I hope you're having an awesome day. So we are at that time of year where bass season is very quickly approaching here in Ontario. Let me tell you guys, I can't wait. Oh, with bass season coming, you guys know I had to buy some tackle. And it's just about that time of year where I put in my perfect jig order. You guys can see Matthew Maz Fishing. This is one of the boxes I got. I actually got two. I bought some stuff originally and I wanted to restock a little bit more stuff because uh, I didn't realize how much I'd actually used last year. So yeah, I got two boxes here. One of them I opened uh, because I was super excited, so I've gone through that a little bit, but I still want to show you guys what I actually got uh, so you guys have an idea of what I'm going to be throwing all year and what's going to be helping me hammer some big fish. So before I dive into all this, I just want to start by giving a huge shout out to Brendan, the owner of The Perfect Jig. The Perfect Jig is an amazing company that I absolutely love supporting. If you guys didn't know, uh, basically The Perfect Jig is a local company here in Ontario. He does a ton of different products, any jig that you could ever want, even custom jobs, you name it, he will make it for you. He also makes soft plastics, terminal tackle. So huge shout out to him. He's an absolutely amazing guy, super nice. And he makes, in my opinion, the best products on the market. I really like the Perfect Jig stuff. I think he's always one step ahead of the game compared to everyone else. So guys, without further ado, let's dive into the first box. <laughs> Big surprise, we are going to start out with some jigs. These are the Elite Mini Jigs in the half ounce size. Let's see what we got in here. These look wicked. I love these jigs, guys. So these are the Elite Mini Jigs in the half ounce size. This is in the green pumpkin chrome color. It has uh, like a blue shiny flake on it. Those look sick. I think you could really use those in any water clarity. They're gonna work. What I really like about uh, the perfect jig as I was saying his attention to detail is so good if you really look at the weed guard Which is something that I find from a lot of companies you really need to modify in order to get the way you want Look at where that weed guard comes down The end of the weed guard is right at the barb of the hook That's exactly where you want it guys uh, That'll keep you from getting hung up But it keeps that weed guard nice and soft uh, and gives it the ability for you to really set the hook and get right into those fish So I got two in that color the green pumpkin chrome I got two in a black and blue color. Can't go wrong with black and blue. That's a staple, I think, in almost every angler's box. His looks super sick. I love that black and blue. I got two of those guys. And then I have the, I think this is the Mr. Natural or the pumpkin. Forgive me if I'm uh, wrong there. It's one of those two. And this is again, the half ounce Elite Mini Jig. And that is a wicked color as well, holy. It's got a little bit of orange near the bottom. It's got green pumpkin. It's got some hues of some like dark browns and almost some yellows. Super sick color. I'm gonna be definitely tossing this one a ton. It's nice and natural. I really like it guys. Super stoked on that. All right, some more jigs. Then we have some more Elite Minis. These ones are in 3 8 ounce, so I'm not gonna take too, too much time. So we got the same colors. This is that pumpkin or the Mr. Natural. Again, forgive me if I'm wrong. One of those guys. Then we have the green pumpkin chrome. And a black and blue. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention that I also am a very big fan of on the Elite Mini Jigs. Listen to this. They have a really good rattle on the inside of there. Uh, so they're also gonna make some noise, which is really awesome, because a lot of jigs, you don't get that. is up next guys sweet there is some of the perfect jig tungsten those look amazing I believe he came out with these last year so that has a tungsten head on it if you guys don't know uh, tungsten is a more dense material than the typical lead jig so the majority of products you'll find on the market are made with a lead head 
So lead's softer, uh, it's a little bit weaker of a material, so they will kind of start to chip. Paint doesn't hold to it as well. Tungsten's a lot more dense. Uh, you can feel it on the bottom a lot better, so you get better bottom contact. And since it's more dense, it's a lot more compact. This one is in the Negs special. Sorry, Brendan, if I pronounce your last name wrong, but that's like his signature color, I guess you could say. Those are super wicked. It's a, again, like a super nice natural color. And that's another thing I really like about the Perfect Jig. Uh, the majority of products he makes are super natural colored, which is what I tend to gravitate a little bit towards, especially fishing Simcoe, super clear water. Uh, this one's in the 3 8 size. I also got the exact same one in the half ounce size. Same jig, just a different sized head. And last but not least, I also got uh, one other one. This is in, I think it's called the Okeechobee Slam. This is in a 3 8 ounce, another tungsten one. Next, we are going to move on. What do we have here? Okay. So now we have a little bit of terminal tackle. We have some of the perfect jig. These are quarter ounce jig head. Tubes are absolutely awesome baits, especially if you're fishing for smallmouth. You can drag them right on bottom. And one of the things that I do completely like about these heads is they have a 90 degree line tie. All right, moving on, what else do we got? So we got some flipping hooks here, or some EWGs, sorry. These are in a four aught hook. Nice thick gauge on the hooks. You're never gonna bend those out. Good quality, nice sharp hooks. I've used those in the past and I've been super happy with them. And then we have a five aught hook in there as well. So just two different sizes of hooks. Uh, EWG hooks, the extra wide gap, super nice if you're using any type of flipping baits, uh, like what I'm about to show you right now. So this is by far one of my favorite baits to throw. I, again, use these a lot of the time when I'm on the water. And they are the perfect jigs. Flipping beavers. Woo! I love those. These have never, ever, ever let me down for bass. I literally use these so much. And what I really like about the Perfect Jigs is they're slightly smaller and more compact than some other companies. So if you look at that in my hand, you can see it's it's about the size from the bottom of my hand up to where my fingers kind of start. Uh, if you compare that to some of the other companies, it's more compact. It's probably I'd say about 75 to 80% of the size of the majority of other companies out there. And I really like them because the fish are more willing to bite something a little bit smaller. You will get a lot more bites. You might get a couple smaller fish, uh, but I do really like that they're a little bit smaller. Sometimes I find the flipping baits from other companies are just a little bit too big for my liking. What's also awesome about these guys, he uses this bio edge, uh, which is basically, I think it's like a blood scent. You can see it on the bottom of the package in the corner there. I think it's some sort of a, like a blood or like an anise mixed with kind of like a crawfish scent. Uh, and it's super strong, you can smell it completely. It's, it's a unique scent that I, I haven't smelt on any other bait. I don't know exactly what it is, but super happy with it. Those ones were in the black and blue. I got a couple other packs in here, it looks like. These ones are in the black with red flake. Definitely be throwing those. These ones I really like. If you guys go on Instagram and take a look, uh, Brendan does a lot of research on crawfish and really their colors at different times of year And one of the things he found is their uh, The actual like pinchers or the claws they have on them tend to go to like an orange tinge He actually has a picture and it's of like four or five different craw uh, Claws like laid out on a counter and they're all different colors So it's it's pretty unique and pretty cool to see uh, that they do really change color that much But this is some of the super sick ones he makes So that one goes from like a green pumpkin down to an orange. Let's see, I might have a couple more packs of those guys in here. Those are some of my favorite things to throw. And here's another one of my favorite colors, guys. This is a little secret. This guy is the flipping beaver in the root beer color, guys. Who the heck doesn't like root beer? A and W root beer barks. Comment down below, what's your favorite root beer? That's one of my favorite colors. I throw those all day long. Super sick. Those are the different colors that I got in some of the flipping baits. I'll definitely put those to great use. I'll probably have to order some more of those because I use those so often. Those are my favorite soft plastics. I love them. And last but not least, we got a couple more things in here. Ooh, I actually don't think I have fished these before. I forgot I ordered these. These are 
the Perfect Jig Punch Cross. So if you guys know me, I don't really fish thick, thick weeds too, too often. I don't do a lot of punching and stuff like that, uh, but that's something I wanna change. It's something I've decided to try to do a little bit more of this year, so I decided investing in some of these guys would be a good idea. These are the Perfect Jig Punch Cross. This one's just in a solid black. I love the detail on those. Look at the claws. Looks like a real crawfish. And you get that sitting upright coming through the weeds like that. These things are gonna get absolutely smoked. So those ones are in a all black. I got one other pack of those in here. Let me just put them away. Last one, we got those. This is a cool color actually. I'm excited to try these as well. I don't think I've ever really fished anything of this color. It's kind of like a blue version of June Bug. It's like a transparent blue. It looks a little bit more purpley once you put a little bit of light on it. But those look awesome. You can see the appendages on the side there. It's got some more appendages down here and then you have your claws up top. These perfectly resemble a craw. You would rig these up with like a flipping weight, uh, pegged tungsten weight, flip that into some thick weeds and some muck, and you are gonna get bit, guys. All right, now, last but not least, we just got some pegs. So those are to peg your weights in place on your line, and we got a couple of perfect jig stickers. Oh. Flip and approve. Perfect Jig, and then we got this one, the Perfect Jig Certified. One of these is gonna go on the car for sure, without a doubt, always gotta be repping. And so that does it for the first package. Now we are gonna move on and go into the second one we got here, guys. So that was the first box. That was the one that I uh, had actually opened already, so I knew exactly what was in it. This one I ordered uh, fairly recently as well, but I don't even completely remember what I ordered, so this is gonna be a little fun. That's, that's part of the fun part of ordering online. You order something and you kind of forget what you ordered. So let's dive into this and see what I got. This one I know has a little bit more soft plastics in it uh, compared to just jigs. I don't think I put any jigs through on this order. But I got some other soft plastics in here that I'm so excited to use. There it is, let's pop this baby open. Woo! I ordered a couple jigs. So we got some more 5 aught EWG hooks. I use a 5 aught a lot, so those are definitely going to go to use. We got one more pack of the 4 aughts. Then we have some 3.5 inch swim baits. You can't go wrong with a pearl white swim bait. I'm going to take those out so you guys can see them real quick. Super nice looking swim baits. These are a paddle tail. 3.5 is like a perfect size. You can put that on a swim jig and uh, that, that's mint. Like you don't need any bigger, any smaller. 3.5 is perfect. If you wanted to, you could really shorten them down a little bit too if you want a little bit more of a compact profile. Uh, typically with a 3.5 inch, you put that on a chatter bait or a swim jig. That is absolutely perfect for me. I wouldn't change that whatsoever. And you really can't go wrong with white if you want. I know he also has some that come with like a chartreuse tail, which is super wicked. Can't go wrong with those guys. All right, what is up next? Oh, we got a couple more jigs in here, guys. I thought I didn't order any. Sweet, so here we have a swim jig and a 3 8 ounce size. Forgot to mention, guys, this one is in the Sungill colorway. This is in one of the swim jigs. Definitely gonna be tossing that guy a lot and definitely gonna pair that up with those 3.5 Perfect Jig swim baits, pearl white ones, and that's in a 3 8 ounce size. And then I got a couple more of my favorite jigs, the Perfect Elite Mini Jigs. These, This is in a 3 8, this is in the Chameleon Craw colorway. Another nice color, so natural. Like, you don't find these colors anywhere else. So really guys, what are you doing? If you want the perfect jig, you know who to check out. I <laughs> get it. But, uh, and this one is in the Mr. Natural color. One other thing I forgot to mention, another reason why I really like these perfect elite mini jigs is because of the chunk lock system. So you can see there, there's actually like a little spring uh, or like a, locking mechanism to lock your soft plastics onto the jig, which is super nice because we all know how it feels when uh, you get a bite, you set the hook and that thing rips the soft plastic right off your jig. And then you want to throw back in and catch that fish, but now you're missing your trailer. So then you go to put the trailer on and by the time you do that, 
that fish is gone. He knows what happened and, and he's not biting again. So it's super nice to have those guys. Not only is it gonna save you trailers, but it's gonna help you catch more fish. And we got some more pegs. You can never have enough of those guys. I use those like crazy. And moving on, we have some perfect tungsten flipping weights, which are gonna be used with those pegs. These ones, I think they're 3 8 Yeah, those are the 3 8 size. That's what I most commonly use. I don't tend, like I said, to flip too much uh, heavy cover. These are super good in your kind of like three to eight foot mark, uh, just with very minimal cover, like a little bit of weeds, and those work absolutely perfect. If anything, I would go a little bit higher if there's some brush and some cover. Then I also have a couple of three quarter ounce tungsten weights there. And now, moving on to what we have been waiting for. These are the perfect jig craws. That's a wicked color. I gotta pull these out to show you. These ones have the orange tips with like a green pumpkin body on it. Looks super good. You can see how loose the craw appendages are. Those are gonna flap like crazy, make a lot of commotion in the water. And they have a little lip on the edge of it, if you guys can see that. And that's really to help these displace a lot of water and have a lot of action. So that's one color of the cross. That's the green pumpkin with the orange tip. Then I got some of the green pumpkin with the half orange. These ones are super neat. They have like an orange mixed in just on the end of the pincher with the whole body being a green pumpkin black flake. Those look super good. Definitely gonna use those a lot. Let's see what else. Then we have a black with blue tip. And those are gonna be a perfect trailer on those black and blue mini jigs. You can cut the body down a little bit if you want a little bit sleeker of a profile. But that black and blue is just so money, especially when you're on those lakes that are a little bit more stained. Then we have a black body with a chartreuse tip. Whew, those look sick. This is like a green pumpkin copper color, I believe. Yeah. Those look wicked. Another supernatural color. All of these are gonna go so well on the jigs I ordered. I really can't wait to toss them. And last but not least, like I was saying, one of my favorite colors for fish in Simcoe. This is like an Okeechobee craw style. We got the green pumpkin body with the blue pinchers, the blue appendages on that. Looks amazing. Basically be exclusively fishing the perfect jig when I'm flipping and any jigs and stuff like that. And I got one more pack of those flipping baits. This is one of my go-tos. This is the Royal Gobi. Super nice, you can separate the bottom appendages there. Pull those apart. Get a little bit more action in the water. Now you can see they're separated. Or you can leave them together and it'll act as one big appendage. It's completely up to you. And this is the very last item that we got here, guys. This is, like I said, I want to do a little bit more heavy cover and stuff like that. This is some of his, I think it's called like the canopy punch cross. The natural canopy or something like that. It's a green pumpkin color, it looks like, with like a black flake in those punch cross. These are gonna work wicked. Need some super natural colors, getting that thick stuff and get those into there.
So there you guys have it. I am definitely pretty well stocked up for the year. Again, I want to give an absolutely massive shout out to Brendan, the owner of the Perfect Jig, for just being a, a great company, guys. I, I love supporting local, and this guy was able to make fishing into a career, which I think is absolutely awesome. There's not too many people that can really make their passion and connect it and build it into a career, which is super sick, because this guy gets to do what he loves every single day, and he's just another passionate angler, just like you and me. Thank you guys very much for tuning into this video. Have a great day, and hopefully you guys absolutely smack some bass on opener. Peace.